This video is about some stories from the gym. Pop Kajit. A wrist injury limits me exclusively to machine leg workouts. I'll be in the gym with a splint on my wrist doing my thing, occasionally asking someone to help me de-rack plates because I can't grab hold of them. Injured non-dominant wrist plus semi-disabled dominant wrist plus fear of dropping plates on my toes equals being useless with any plate over 15 kilograms. My workout is done and I decide to do some rehab exercises for my wrist. As I'm setting up the cable machine, a guy comes over and asks how many sets I've got left. I tell him I'm just starting, so it'll be a while. Undeterred, he asks if I can change the machine handle. And the height of the handle, because he wants to do these ones, imitates a cable press, and needs the machine set up differently. I suggest he asks someone else at one of the other eight cable machines in the area. He says they're all occupied, then asks if I can move to another machine instead, because he wants to do these ones, imitates cable press again. At this point, I'm thoroughly bemused, but a little angry. Why does he want this particular machine so badly? And why does he think he can just kick someone off for these ones? I point out a machine that's become vacant. He should go there. He looks at me like I've spat in his face and says I should go there instead. By now, a few nosy people are listening in. A guy in the neighboring machine offers his machine because he's finished with it now. The knobhead relents and sets up on the other machine, making a real huff and puff about it. Then spends his whole workout staring daggers while I lift a measly 5 kilograms with my sprained wrist. Some people. The only thing I can think of is that the one guy has like a routine that he does, and like any changes to it drives him nuts. But he must realize that's a him problem, right? The Patio Song writes, I, a 41-year-old female, arrived at the gym Sunday in the morning, went straight to one of the four rowing machines to do my warm-up. There was a 20-something woman at the far end near the glass wall, so I chose the one farthest from her. She had headphones on, and she yelled, I'm straight, angrily. I thought, uh, okay. Maybe she's just having a convo with someone on her phone. I started rowing, and she yelled, Stop following me. I still wasn't sure if she was talking to me or what. Some guy then turned up and sat down next to me to start rowing. The woman got up, walked behind me, yelled, Fudge off, and stormed out of the gym could see her stomping toward the changing room through the glass wall. I briefly summarized the incident to Rower Man in case he thought I was some kind of creep. All he had to say was, I saw her rowing through the window, and that was not good rowing technique. Okay, one last one, from Southern Coop Sticks. This happened a few days ago. They're a 35-year-old female, by the way. I was finishing off my upper body workout with barbell curls. I'm that girl who wears big, over-the-ear headphones so that people don't talk to me. I was on my third set and noticed a middle-aged man kind of looking at me. Brushed it off, thought nothing of it. I finished my last set, and the same guy watched me put the weight back. He came up to me and said, I have to go home now. You just curled the same weight I did. So, I'll take that as a compliment, I guess? <laughs> well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Special thanks go out to top members Emmett McNally, Rig, Cupcaker Death, MMC, Megtran2000, Gato. That one guy, Maria P., Average Loser, Wolf Child Rusk, Just a Girl, and Orale Christine. If you enjoyed the video, please consider clicking like and subscribe. If you really enjoyed it, please consider becoming a member. Memberships start at only $1 a month. I wish all of you wonderful people a wonderful day.